Hey there, Libra. This is Chronic Joy Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And apologies for falling away and going kind of absent from this channel. Um, I'm back. I'm doing the rest of the batch that I started in the fall. There's just been a lot of shifting and moving and just things happening in my household. And it's been really hard to get to the readings. Um, but here I am. This is a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or anybody who's drawn to this um, reading and its theme. The theme that we're going to use um, for this reading is the adventure card. That's the uh, oracle card that sits there to the left of the read of the spread. And this is going to be sort of the, um, you know, the calling in point of new experiences. It's kind of the declaration that I'm willing and ready to welcome in new the new that's always there, um, ready for us to experience. Your starting point, Libra, is that center card on the bottom row of branches of my little tree spread here, the politics card. That's your starting point. This is showing that, um, let's see, either mentally in your mind or in your experience, in your direct experience, there are um, two messages coming at you. Either a person who's sort of talking one way and then talking another way when they're not in your presence, like sort of a two-faced kind of a feeling, or the battle and the um, masking and the saying one thing but meaning another is going on within your, your own self. Um, so right now is the time to sort of clear that. It's time to just be with what's real and true because the um, conflicting messages is stalling your progress. It's, it's creating sort of a block and a big door that's closing off um, the ease and the newness that is waiting to come into your life, this, this adventurous sort of spirit. Um, uh, there's like a dual message or a conflicting message or a hidden message that's coming towards you from someone or from within you. And that is the thing that's holding you back. Um, but within you, you're starting to really start to tap into that lightness of being that's always present within all of us. And you're realizing that if I allow this light um, to be more fully a part of my experience, to sort of shine itself into my experience and, and um so that I become this light, I become this playful, light and easy um, um, energy, then that will, that's going to be part of what will allow you to move forward more quickly. Holding back that light and sticking with this conflicting message, this sort of political or masked or hidden, secretive, um, not fully honest and transparent truth full, you know, focusing on this hidden energy will just create exhaustion in your life. And that's where the um, card of exterior energy, you know, the energy in your daily life, the exhaustion card comes in. This is a physical um, manifestation of the battle that's going on within you. You want to focus more on only the light, only the truth, and that will help dissipate um, the two-faced or masked sort of energy and, and help you avoid complete e and utter <laughs> exhaustion in your daily and physical life. The way to move forward, so this is kind of a quandary. You're kind of in a, um, you know, here I am, but this is here, here I, I want this, but you're in a kind of a conflicting energy right now. Um, you know, I want to speak the truth, but I'm worried of the repercussions, or I want to just be carefree and not worry about um, how my choices impact others, which I'm not talking about in a selfish way, like, you know, F you, I'm going to go <laughs> and be what I want, but more of a, I just want to be able to be fully myself in full acceptance 
with, you know, full acceptance of those around me, just to allow me to speak my truth and be myself. This is what you're desiring. So that's the conflict. Do I speak up or do I respond to somebody who is sort of speaking out of both sides of their mouth and I can kind of tell that they're um, not being fully authentic? Do I just bring my light to that situation and, and speak this through? Or whatever, if this sort of um, masked energy is going on within you. So it could be from a, a situation in your life or it could be just an internal battle. But either way... Your goal is to just let your light shine through, let your truth come forward, let it rise to the surface, and um, be able to move on. So you need to kind of clean that up, and then we're ready to move on to the next level. And the key to moving on is the bottom card here, the trunk card of possibilities. Now, we know this is also um, an action card. So this is sort of making the commitment to take a different position in the way you perceive what's going on in your life. It's a way to acknowledge that there are more, um, way more possible routes and journeys and outcomes than you're um, allowing yourself to perceive. Um, so it's widening your perspective, opening up that um, um you know, sort of that viewpoint, so that you're not just focused on, you know, the perspective of the eagle in this card sees the entire landscape, it sees everything. And we don't want to get caught and drilled down into the little details like down in the leaves or down, you know, in that blade of grass that's on the ground, the little mouse that only sees that that's his whole world, you want to pull back your perspective and see it all and see everything that's possible everything that, um, every direction you could go and make choices from that more open, flowing perspective. And so being willing to see more possibilities is your first step to moving to the next level of awareness. And once you begin that willingness to widen your perspective and see the horizons and see all that's possibly coming towards you, that is going to be the time to um, put into action this miser card. You need to be able to open up from your heart, not be closed off, not be, like we said in the card below it, the politics card, not be hiding or um, just be able to be fully transparent and share your heart. So be in my truth and then give from my heart, give who I am to those around me. Um, and then supported, this is supported by that going with the flow card. That's a deeper, easy sort of emotional card that gives us the ability to kind of just kind of get in the river and let the stream take us instead of trying to swim and fight the current and swim upstream. We want to be able to go with what's given us and take each little sign, you know, from that possibilities card, take each little sign that comes to us and roll with it oh yeah, this is good. This one doesn't feel so good. So I'll change direction here. This feels, you know, just being able to take what you're given and either let it accompany you on your journey or bypass it and move forward. It's very, you know, we get stuck with things that don't feel good. We get stuck there. We end, we end up like building a dam in that river. When things don't feel good, we stop and we wrestle with it and we try to push it away or make it not not, you know, be so prominent. But by stopping and resisting it, you are making it more prominent. So those things that don't feel so good, just like pretend like they're a boulder in the river and just swim right around it. And then move on to the next thing that does feel right. This is creating that that sense of an adventurous life is to be able to take what you're given and make a decision and then move forward. And the things that feel great that you want to make a decision to embrace, that's where your adventure is. And then the things that don't feel so great, you can just let them roll right past and you can continue on your adventure. You get it? So that it's creating this flow of energy, starting with that wider perspective, starting with that willingness to see everything as it comes to you. This entire process creates the next two cards, which is the card of awareness and maturity. And this is sort of, they go hand in hand in this reading to me because the awareness is your, 
um, the manifestation in your world is this like sort of a, a lifting of the veil. Now that I'm willing to see all possibilities, good or bad, or the things that feel great and the things that don't feel great, but when they don't feel great, I'm willing to bypass them. The whole time being in my truth and sharing from my heart, now that I'm willing to see things more clearly, I see things more clearly. Do you know what I mean? Now that I'm willing to be that eagle and see all of the possibilities, I'm able to see with much more clarity because I just made myself willing. This is now the, it leads us to the maturity card, which is the sign of, you know, a sign of wisdom in your life. You've reached a point in your life where, yeah, crappy things come to me, but I'm not willing to make those a theme of my life anymore. I'm not willing to, you know, um, push against and wrestle with those crappy feeling things so that they become the theme of my life. But the theme of my life is ease, openness, possibility, truth, transparency. And anything else is, you know, not, not invited. It's not invited in. And with that statement and that energy and that sort of higher, um, you know, consciousness um, perspective, that's perspective coming from your higher self, that's where the ease comes. That's where the adventure comes and the fun comes in. And then the new experiences are fully embraced because they're not shadowed by, oh, but this bad thing is sitting here too. Oh, but this bad thing, you know, it's not, there's no shadows anymore. You're going forward, you're rising up, you're going, you know, out into the world with your true full heart and your wisdom and your maturity has taught you, your experience has taught you, you really cannot be harmed unless you allow that harm and that um, challenging sort of energy into your experience. That's the only way you'll you'll be harmed. Um, yes, people do do things directly to try to hurt us, or there are situations that are more difficult and not as easy to swim around that boulder, but you still can. They may take a little longer, but with that intention of... I'm going to see the whole picture. I'm willing to move forward. I'm willing to move past this. I'm willing to be in my truth and share my heart and move right along. That's where just that willingness that eases the the struggle a little bit, that eases that battle when difficult things come along. Then you move on to the adventure, you know, and then the whole entire picture, the good, the bad, the challenging, the things that get us stuck, the things that help us flow forward, it's all part of your adventure. And that's the the entire theme of your reading is this sort of I'm willing to engage fully no matter what is um, in my way or no matter what is presented to me. I'm going to engage fully, make a decision, take a step forward and continue on with my adventure. There's sort of a, you know, um, just a, a higher perspective. Your higher self is guiding you here. Okay. All right, Libra, I think that will do it for now. I appreciate you um, coming back and sticking with me. It's been, 2019 was rough for me. It was, you know, just a lot of activity, a lot of activity and trying to hold down schedules and keep everything going was was really challenging for me. Um, But I'm still here and I love you guys very deeply and thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. Okay, see you soon.